Hello there, and welcome to this um, special first look. Uh, something I have been waiting for uh, for some time, and I dare say um, a lot of other simmers have been waiting for this as well. And I am, of course, referring to drum roll, blum, 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 if I can find the damn thing. There it is, <laughs> the answer of 225. It's, I guess, in a way, tragic the way this aircraft has made itself or made its way into a Microsoft Flight Simulator. But the fact it's there and that's a good thing. It's there. And we have an opportunity to fly it. We have an opportunity to show our support for Ukraine. and support you know what what's happening um, i'm not going to get into the politics of it all um there's certainly enough being said and there's enough um out there to for people to form their own conclusions about what's happening uh, but it's fantastic to see this aircraft in microsoft flight simulator well i'm sure it's going to be fantastic to see it in microsoft flight simulator because this is very much a first look I've only just purchased it. I've just finished installing it. And um, I wanted to share that experience with you guys because I know a lot of you will uh, be buying it yourselves anyway because it is such an icon. It is such an icon. There's a whole lot of crap going on here that I don't need to see. It is such an icon of aviation. Uh, and here we are. We are in the cockpit. Now, it's great that this is a little pad because I'm fairly sure that I'm not going to understand anything that's written on any of these controls. And you'd expect that. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to learn Ukrainian, I guess. Oh, doors open, good. GPU, GP, GPU, yes, chocks, yep. Uh, cabin door, internal door. Oh, turn some lights on as well. I, look, I honestly have absolutely no idea. Ooh, no idea what I'm doing. I'm really just playing, which is what anyone... Oh, that's interesting. Um, I like that. Not, and I don't know what that's doing. Oh, look, what's that? Oh, it's the nose. Ha! Hello. Oh, let's jump out and have a quick look. Yep. Gosh, look at that. Very impressive. So, as we all know, it's uh, put together by any builds. I'm just kind of geeking out a little bit at the moment. I just need to slow down what my. Keeps going. Here we go. And the nose keeps going up. Let's just get up into this. Wow. It gives you a um a sense of the size of this thing. Whoop. That's amazing. Look at the size, it's crazy. I've never had the privilege of seeing this aircraft 
in in real life i think some of its its baby brothers and sisters have come into uh into auckland i'm not sure if it ever has um i wasn't going to start on the outside but here we are so we might as well just carry on Such a unique aircraft. Six monster engines. God. Still, still going. Looks like it's nearly finished. Or sounds like it's nearly finished. Such a monster. Um, and I think the Russian space shuttle used to sit on top of that. Extraordinary, eh? Just extraordinary. Uh, so, is it coming out yet? No, it's not coming out yet. Let's just pop inside. Oop, hello. Oh, yep, so, it did say that's what was in here. I guess it's all the spears and things. You're not just going to pick up a spear wheel and Kmart or Walmart or wherever the hell you're going, are you? Oh, what the hell? Huh, that's weird. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. Yeah. Oh, up through the hitch. Hello. There we go, inside the cockpit again, now if we just change back to our cockpit camera, we should be able to um, find a way of um, load cargo, shall we unload cargo first, so that's the one that's active, so let's unload that, so what happens, anything yet? No, it just takes it out. Okay, that's all right. Sweet as. I need to figure out how to put that nose down, don't I? Um, options. Oh. English. No. Cockpit language. Oh. Something's happening. It's... Oh. Okay, so we can either do, um, let's do fast, whoa, there we go, that's better. <laughs> that is so unique. It's just amazing. Of course it's a, it's a hell of a lot of weight to keep up there, so that's coming down, is that coming down yet? No, not yet, it's going to get right down on its knees I guess I think the GPU's in trouble where it's sitting okay there we go let's go on the inside and have a look hmm. those sounds are a little bit all over the place that's alright and that's going up so I ain't going upstairs anymore Yeah, that GPU is going to go splat. Probably not the best place to park, guys. Bye-bye. Crunch. Sitting on its thingies. And then the final little pad comes down. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Goodbye, GPU. There we have it. And all of its front-loading glory. Let's just have a look. I'm sure it, the back comes down as well, doesn't it? It definitely does, because I'm sure sh stuff can drive through. Alright, let's go back up into the cockpit and see what we can find. Oh, 
Where am I? There we are. All right. No, I don't want you. I don't want you. I'm in the wrong. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, so there's that payload. Um, we don't want you. Options. Well, if it makes it English, then I don't know English because I can't see no English. Maybe it's, I don't know, it's something to look at. Yeah. No, that's cool. Alright, so ground. What are we doing on the ground? Let's have a look. So we got rid of you. Right, so that's the main door. Maybe it's just a, it may just be a, a what's it. Oh, so is it in there already? It is. Okay. No pretty graphics on this one. But that's quite cool. Kenworth truck. It's not every day you see a Kenworth in an aircraft, that's for sure. Oh, what else we got? We've got that, that, boring, boring. So what the hell is it? A, a rocket? That's oh, a boiler. Oh. I would have thought it was a rocket, but hey, that's all right. Doesn't have to be weather. Oh yeah, that's cool. So you can turn the power off if you want to. Dashboard. Ready to fly. Configure. Yeah, so it just takes you back to that. Nice. Uh, we looked at that converter. Okay, so that's quite cool. Options. Yep, we looked at that. So, multiply altitude window. Realistic fast. Yep. Very cool. Oh, uh, yep. Turn it off. Turn it on. Noise. Noise. Very good. So anyway, that's the um, that's the outside and the inside. What am I talking about? All right, cockpit. Let's just that doesn't look quite right. Pilot two, pilot three. All right, let's go up to cameras and reset the camera. Reset position. Cockpit. Reset position. Hmm. Which it's a bit odd. I don't know what that's about. That's all right. Maybe it's um got something to do with the doors and ship being open. I don't know. Because I can't do nothing. That is weird. Alright, let's um, go back up this way. See what I can do. Alright. I'll just have a quick look around on the inside. So that's the hatch leading downstairs. That's a must be a door. Rescue rope. Yep. And we've got something. We've got a crew rest area. Oh, mm, that's weird. It's a little bit finicky. That's all right. Can you go through here? What's through here? Nothing. That's all good. Monster, eh? It just looks so bloody solid. No wonder it needs eight engines to... Or six engines to take off. Just 
the um, interior wall panellings look like they weigh a ton. Yeah, so I can't get down because of the cargo loading stuff, so that's all right. What have we got here? Anything here works? Nope. We've got a window. Look out. Hello. It would be an impressive view, wouldn't it? It is an impressive view, should I say. It's not, would not it? It is an impressive view. My God. <laughs> it would be complicated in English, let alone in Ukrainian. God, it just looks like that. The linoleum? Or is it actually wood? It's probably teak or something. I don't know. I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at. This would probably be a really good time for me to have, um, you know, press a button that tells me what the hell it does because I ain't got no idea. It just looks so 1960s. Looks like something out of Thunderbirds or Joe 90 or something. Yeah, I'm probably showing my age now. I'm probably older than the Antonov, but never mind. Let me see if I can find something that might um, resemble a power switch. Oh my god, how are you meant to know what the hell you're doing? There's TCAS. So that's, um, that's always useful. I'm told. <laughs> right at the moment, it's not a lot of use. Um, okay, let's just, let's go in here, let's go to it, ready to fly. So, you, you close the, close the doors, close the doors, uh, yep, close the doors, close, close, off, oh shit, I can hear the engine starting. Oh my god, that rumble. Shit. Oh, I've got lights going. How did I get lights going? I have no idea. Okay. Well, the doors are closing, thank god. Even even fast settings it's like oh my god there we go well all my engines are running yep I've got some some funny stuff going on with um hmm. all right nearly All the lights work. Turn that landing lights off. And just waiting, waiting, waiting. Right. God, you wouldn't want to have it on realistic, would you? Wow. Well, you probably would, actually. It adds to the... See, there's something going on. Right, okay, that's Smoky Joe engines. Alright. Let's just... Okay, still going. That's alright. While we're waiting for the door to close, I will come around the back and we'll see what the flaps look like coming down. There we go. Oh. I'm going to go three notches. Obviously, I have no idea what 
what I'm doing in terms of flying. Some nice detail there though. And the door's slowly coming down. Ooh. Very impressive. I'll have to check and see if there's a manual. I'm sure there'll be a tutorial at some stage. Nearly closed. Nearly closed. Flaps down. Yep, here we are. She's ready to rock and roll. Alright, now let's see if we can reset the camera position. There we go. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I think it was because the, the nose was up which upset my um which upset my cameras. So there we are. Alright, so we can get rid of the chocks. We can get rid of the GPU. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about. Forward passenger cabin. Hmm. Just put a bit of weight in there. Oh, okay, so that's cool. So we've got 140,400 kg. And that's that cargo thingy bobbity. Pa oh, there's passengers in the rear, didn't know that. Interesting. Alright, I think we are good to do something. I think we're going to try and fly. Alright. Uh, uh, parking brake, maybe? Is that a parking brake? It might be. I guess we'll find out in a moment. It is. Oh look, we've got a we've got a thingy. All right. Does this work? Nope, it's all right. It's allowed to not work. It's actually um, pretty sprightly to tune. Um, it's got an amazing tune circle for an aircraft this size. I can only imagine what the real thing was like to fly. It would be an experience if, if nothing else. I must have a fairly light load because it's responding extraordinarily easily and I doubt that's the reality of the actual aircraft but you never know obviously I have no idea so Beautiful. It's vibrating the hell out of my um, joystick though. Or my Xbox. Alright. 
the overheat the brakes. This would be extraordinary in VR, I'd say. I might have to get my headset out and give it a crack. Alright, so let's just stop here. Let's just stop here. Alright, I'm going to assume that's the parking brake. Because we're not moving, so yeah, it looks like I've got that sussed out. Alright, um... Oh, oh, no idea what that is. How do I set my... Um, is that it? Maybe? No? Okay, so we'll set that. Uh, we'll go for day. So that's speed. That's obviously vertical, vertical speed. Is that... I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm wondering if it's altitude. Is it altitude? What's this? Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, VOR, so that's okay, so that's your frequency. Um, okay, no idea, no idea, no idea. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm not sure we're gonna worry about it too much. Um, I don't want to do something that may end up fucking things up. The chances are it's going to fuck up anyway. So that's auto throttle, I think. APM Horizon PC, vertical control. Maybe that's. Um, I have no idea. No, no idea. So this is speed, speed brakes. Yep, there they are. Good. Speed brakes. Yay. And let's maybe see if... So what's... So... Uh, thrust right back. Okay, so I've got a red light there. I don't know why. Um, I guess there's a reasonably good chance we're all going to... to die horrifically in a crash. But let's see, so we got some more lights. Are these lights? I don't know what the hell they are. No, I don't know. Um, let's just... Um, there they are. So that's the lights. There. Alright. So let's, let's turn that on as well. And take you all the way down. Let's go out and have a look. Yep. So there's our lights. Yep, okay, good, very good. Um, while we're out here, we'll just sense our rudders. Ooh, elevators. Oh, uh, yep. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's just stop being pussies and get on with it, eh? little bit of throttle gets you moving quite easily. I guess with six engines that kind of makes sense. I don't know what that is but I'll press it. I don't know what that is. Okay. And I'm taking off at the wrong end anyway. But okay. I'm kind of counting on us making our own wind not the nasty, smelly type of wind, but the... our wings are almost as big as a small country type of wind. Alright, let's see how we go, eh? Right? I have no idea what the takeoff speed is, but I'm going to keep an eye on. Oof, this gets blown around by the wind a bit. 
So I think there's a hundred knots. Now we'll try that. Oh, is it, does it want to take off? No, it doesn't really. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yep, now it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Now it is. Yep, gear's going up. Oh, yeah, it's taken off like a rocket now. Yep, no, that's good. I think we'll just pull back on the throttles a bit. Go up a, a notch of flap. Jesus, that's pretty. We'll probably go up a couple of notches of flap, actually. Um, quite sprightly to fly, though I need to find out how to trim, because it doesn't seem to like that that, that much. So I need to keep flap out. There we go. Oh, it's climbing at 2,000 feet a minute, so it's actually quite deceptive. Speed's pushing right up there as well, so we'll definitely pull all of our flaps up. 1,500. Oh. This is very much nothing but a first look, so you'll have to forgive my um, my flying, for want of a better word. Alright, so we got it airborne, now I want to take it back and see if we can land this baby. So I don't know how much, we're still climbing, Jesus, so we want to just, okay we don't start to go down not too much though and I can pretty much take off the opposite direction I can pretty much land the opposite direction that I took off because that's the way the wind's going we just need to find the airport right back on the the airport. Where the hell is the airport? Over there. Bloody hell, miles away. Right. Okay. This is, um, quite a beast. going to be, um, uh, it's going to take quite a while to sort of get get a feel for it and understand how it operates. Just understand how, how fast I'm going. I don't even know that at this stage.
and I still don't know where the airport is and I can't get over to my GPS to have a look either here it is right in front of me I knew that I knew that alright put our gear down give a couple of knots of flaps we'll get rid of the power entirely though I'm not convinced we're slowing down it's so hard to tell alright there we go so we're going to full flaps It's quite, quite fluffy on um, full flaps. I have no idea what speed I'm doing. Oh, we're way too high as well. It's quite floaty. Yeah, see, I'm high speed. All right, let's 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 do a bit of this. There we go, now it's dropping. Yeah, now the speed's dropping nicely. Good. It's not very good piloting skills, I'm afraid. Well, let's just get a little bit more. Get rid of some of that. We'll get rid of all of that. I think we should be okay. You've, um, you've got to admire the people who fly this thing in real life. Such an extraordinary aircraft. I guess if you build it and fly it, you'd have a unique understanding of the um, the way it operates. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look, we're actually doing pretty well. Two whites, two reds. You can't complain about that. starting to lose just, just need to give it a little bit of welly here because I think it just feels like I'm starting to lose it a little bit still doing pretty well on the glide slope side of things so I just okay I don't know what she's saying but I appreciate the the observation there we go. I think we're doing okay actually so high as well I want to make sure that I'm I'm not well, way off the center line but I'm I'm landing now whether I want to or not it's another story oh oh my god oh I'm down ha! oh my god that was a um that was a bit of a dog's breakfast wasn't it there we go oh look it's got stole capabilities as well wow Did I not have my gear down? I thought I had my gear down. It would appear that I haven't got my gear down. Well, that would explain why I landed... <laughs> landed pulled up so quickly. I could have sworn I had my gear down. Ah, oh, well, I had it kind of somewhere in between, but look a bit. Oh, I had it down. Oh, well. Well, there you go first look for the Antonov 225 not a very um, not a very pretty first look unfortunately um, but a first look all the same uh, 29 2990 at marketplace I think uh, well worth it oh, look this is just a unique piece of aviation history 
Um, yeah, I know there's a freeware floating around, um, but it doesn't look, it's nowhere near as good as this, and you'd expect that. Um, this is, this is polished, it's got lovely detail, lots of lovely little features um, for loading and unloading, all of that kind of stuff, so I think it's well worth it, um, well worth it, and if it's actually going to support Antonov bringing the actual aircraft back, uh, and I'm look. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if that is the case. Let's just go and have a look, shall we? Because I could be talking through a hole in my backside here. I'm pretty sure the whole idea is to raise money um, to help Antonov bring this thing back. You know, they've got chunks of of a second one. Um, it's just that whole thing of how do you build such an extraordinary aircraft? All right, let me find the thing again. Where are you? Um, jets. Alright. Owned. I own you. Where are you, Antonov? Oh my god, there you are. Alright. So, uh, seven libraries for like a special main support contacts. Yep. Mm, doesn't say. Doesn't actually say what the intent is. Um, I was fairly sure that. Well, I'm sure Antonov is making money out of it. I certainly hope so. Yeah, can't, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me. It took a minute to fly. Uh, yeah, a bit. Um, I was just reading the text about the Paris Air Show and this thing turning up and it's like, holy fuck. Um, it would have been my reaction, that's for sure. There you go, that's what it looks like when you've got someone competent flying it and making it look pretty. Um, which obviously isn't me at this stage, but there you go, it's only a first look. Oh, that's pretty. So there you go, first look, Antonov, AN-225. Um, because I can't see the price now because I already own it. I'm pretty sure it was twenty nine ninety US dollars. Well worth it. So yeah. Okay, enjoy. I'm gonna go and try and learn more about this and see if I can do an, an actual flight um, operating it. So thanks for joining. Cheers, bye.